Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Arpit and today I'm going to discuss about what are the different ways to design a canvas app. So if you missed my last video, please go and check them out on my YouTube channel. So in my previous video, I discussed about the introduction of Power Apps and uh, how many types of Power Apps are there. And in my last video, I discussed about how to set up a Dynamic 365 and Power Platform environment. All right. So before moving ahead with chapter four of this video, a quick introduction about myself and the learning series that I've started. All right, guys, so uh, if you have to create uh, the uh, you know the power apps, there are different ways to do that, right? So before understanding that, what are the different ways to you know create the canvas app or the different types of power apps? First, uh, you should understand you need to navigate to the make.powerapps.com, uh, you know, the URL. All right, you just name navigate to this URL and uh, uh, once you navigate to this URL, you will land it on this page. Uh, where you will, you know, uh, where you will, you will see the list of all the apps available for you. Okay, so the make.powerapps.com is basically the, uh, you know, uh, the URL where you can start creating your canvas apps and all. So in this, in this page, uh, you will see there are uh, three or four sections are there. In the left panel, there are few options like, uh, you know, the home where you can, you know, uh, see uh, the list of all the uh, data sources. Uh, from where you can start creating your apps. So obviously, if you are creating any application, whether it's a mobile, tablet, or the desktop application, there there, there is some sort of you know uh, the data source or the database uh, should be available where you can store or you know <coughs> store the data actually. So the SharePoint, you can store the data in SharePoint, Excel, SQL Server, Common Data Service, that is the Microsoft Dataverse, and there are some other data sources you can also navigate to. OK, you can create your app from the blank. OK, and there are uh, so I discussed in my, you know, uh, some previous videos. There are three types of apps are there. Uh, the canvas app, the model driven app or the portals, right? So you can create your apps uh, from here directly. And uh, if you don't want to create the apps from the blank, you can simply go to the templates. So in the templates, you will see there are a list of templates are there. So the, there are basically two ways to create a particular app. Either you can create it from scratch, OK, or you can create from the templates that that that's uh, that I, I was talking about. Right. So if you don't want to create the app from the scratch and uh, you want to reuse some kind of templates that is provided by the Microsoft, then you can simply go ahead and, and start exploring the templates as well. So if you can see here, if I go down, there are some templates available related to the portals like employee self-service, the customer portals, customer self-service and the community. Now, what is the advantage of creating the apps from, uh, you know, from the template is that so if you are creating the app from the scratch, you need to, for example, you, uh, you need to build a functionality uh, for the community, you are need, you need to create the uh, community portals, right? So community portals has a lot of uh, features related to the blogs, forums, you know, articles, and uh, the sharing of the information, kind of, right? So if you have to create the such kind of uh, app from the scratch, you need to redesign all the features from the scratch. But if you are going to create, uh, if you are creating an app from the templates, you will get all these features out of box in your, uh, you know, applications, right? So why you will create, a, uh, you know, uh, the app that's already having uh, uh, that features available in your templates. So you need to make sure that <clears throat> if any of the uh, application that is already available in the template or the features that is already available in the in the templates you should start creating from the templates instead of creating from the blank but if you are not sure that uh, 
uh, any of the application, you are not sure that what features the client is looking for, and you, you are not sure that whether the community customer or these kind of portals or the templates are fit for your business need, then you can simply go and create uh, the app from the blank as well. Okay, okay. So it's not about that the portal uh, types of uh, apps templates is there. If you just go down, there are some you know sample templates for Canvas apps. Uh, like power apps trainings onboarding tasks so i was talking about uh, in my you know earlier videos that there are uh, various business requirement of the use cases where you need to onboard someone or for example the employees or need, you need to manage the workflow management the approval process the budget tracker the site inspections where your field service agent has to travel at the customer location right and uh, if you need to create the help desk uh, kind of application then you don't need to create the app from scratch you can simply you know uh, click on that particular template and start creating your app so this is, these are the list of you know all the apps that is provided by the microsoft and it keeps on adding uh, you know uh, it keeps on adding based on the releases that microsoft is uh, providing actually all right so this is the basic uh, uh, the templates or the home page now you need to concentrate on the apps part okay so once i click on the apps you can see there are list of applications are already available for me but if i go here there is a type option is there so if you can see here all the types of apps are model driven app so i haven't created any apps by manually uh, in the in this in this trial instance okay so but in my previous video if you have remembered that uh, when i when i was setting up the dynamic 365 trial instance there was an option to uh, you know, uh, uh, install some kind of uh, sample apps in the in my trial instance. So I choose the, that options in order to create this kind of application. All right. So these are the model driven app that comes, you know, out of box uh, with the trial instance. So I'm not going to, you know, uh, discuss about the model driven app in this uh, topic in this video right now. I'm focusing on the canvas app right now. Now, when you click on the new app, you can see there are three types of apps are there canvas app model driven app and the portals that i discussed in my previous video there are three kinds of apps are available for you canvas model driven app and the portals okay now uh, if i click on uh, canvas app so this video is all about what are the different ways to create the canvas app so if i have to create my first canvas app i will be landed on this page i just need to go and click on the canvas okay and i will be landed on this uh, on this page now uh, here i have to choose two options start with your data and start with a blank canvas okay so obviously uh, if you are uh, you know creating your app you need to store the data somewhere so you can start creating your app from the data sources so it will straight out uh, straight away you know create the connection with your database and you can simply select the layout as well and you can create the template as well or the blank canvas as well so as i told you in my earlier slide that canvas app provides you the capability that you can create that from the blank canvas or the blank uh, scratch board right you don't need to create the template so you don't need to follow you know the uh, the out of box layout of the applications right so once you, uh, you know, navigate to this particular section there is an option either you want to create the blank app or the uh, or the uh, or the app that you want to create from the templates now in the both kind of option you have to uh, layout available phone layout and the tablet layout so the so the answer is uh, of the question that uh, what are the uh, what are the you know the uh, channels that we can uh, you know use to access the canvas app so there are basically two types of channel so basically uh, the phone and the tablets so that for the desktop we don't have the canvas app available for the desktop application we have the model driven app available all right so these are the templates so if i click on uh, the app template so let's say if i select the phone layout so it will ask me that these are the some templates available for you so do you want to start creating your first canvas app from the existing template all right if you don't want to create uh, from the template you can start creating your app from the scratch as well <clears throat> so in this video i'm not going to create any canvas app just this is just the uh, you know the uh, 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 the video about what are the different ways available now uh, on the top bar there is an option called uh, environments right so if you remember in my last video I, I i actually created an environment called power guide training and there is an environment that already got created while the uh, while the setup was done so default environment 
so the environment is basically used to hold the components uh, basically we use the solution to hold the components but environment is a big picture of it so it actually used to you know hold all kind of components that you are creating inside a particular instance for example whatever uh, you know the apps you are creating whether it's a model driven app or the portals or the canvas app it actually contains in a particular environment so if i if uh, so if you can see here there is a power guide training environment is selected and all these apps are listed here so if i choose power guide environment and if i click on the apps i can see no apps is available for me right so this is the way how you can you know simply distinguish the environments and you know provide the access or the security to the users now how can i how can i manage uh, you know uh, the security to this particular uh, you know the power apps and the environments so there is a setting option over there and you just simply go to the advanced settings so once you click on the advanced settings uh, it's asking me for you know create a database because i'm 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 trying to create uh, i'm trying to navigate in the default environments which is not not associated with any database so let me go back to my training uh, instance again and simply go to the advanced setting so once i navigate to the advanced settings i will be redirected to the dynamic 365 application so those who are aware about the dynamic 365 applications or the they have they have been already working in the dynamic 365 or the crm from the previous versions they can understand that this is the url through which you can simply navigate to the dynamic 365 instance all right so <clears throat> So let it be open until, uh, until you know uh, uh, till then i will just explain the other part for uh, related to the application so these are all the model driven application and if you remember in my last video i told you like uh, uh, the model driven application is basically uh, uh, basically built on top of dynamic 365 framework what that means is all the applications that you will see will you know uh, follow the same kind of layout so if i simply open the field service okay so you can see the field service model driven app layout is same like the dynamic 365 if i open the project service it's it its layout is again the same so you can see the layout is same the left panel the middle section the top bar that you cannot change okay so let me open the sales hub so i, I have actually opened the three model driven apps so, so these are the apps that we used to call it as a dynamic 365 right in the previous version but nowadays we are calling these all the apps as a model driven app all right but these all the model driven app uh, are actually using the same kind of layout the left panel right you can add the components and you can add the icons and or uh, add the components over there but the layout you cannot change you cannot handle the layout right and uh, the database that is being uh, used to store the data uh, either you are using uh, the sales of the, uh, the project service or the field service is basically the microsoft database you cannot change the database right but if you have seen like if i am going to create the apps for canvas app i have the multiple uh, you know data sources options available for me i can either store in the microsoft dataverse or i can store in the sql server i can create my i can you know simply set up my own sql server and i can start using the canvas app i can store my data even in the excel or in the sharepoint as well so it's not mandatory that you need to have the knowledge or the experience in the dynamic 365 or the microsoft dataverse in order to create your applications or canvas app application if you have the knowledge of the excel online you can simply go ahead create or store your data in excel and can start creating your app or if you are a sharepoint champ then you don't need to have the you know the dynamic 365 expert i you just come to the make dot power apps.com start creating your list to your data in the sharepoint and start creating your app all right so i actually navigated to the settings part so once you click uh, so i actually click here and uh, advanced settings in order to check the you know the security part of uh, this power apps so once i navigate to this page just go down we'll go to the security part and under the security uh, there are a list of options i'm uh, i'm having available for me like you know i can simply uh, manage the users i can simply manage the teams i can simply manage the securities so if you can see here in the security section i have the users securities and uh, some there are a list of uh, some enhanced features uh, as well so if i go to the users i can see that uh, you know some some sample users uh, will be available uh, that is been set up uh, when the environment was set up so if i'll just simply go to the oh, maybe <coughs> application so no no the application not the one 
all project members. So if you can see here, there are a list of uh, you know users are there. And my name is also listed there. So you can simply manage your users from there as well. So you cannot change the properties of the users that for that you need to uh, you know navigate to the Office 365 portal. But simply you can see uh, the you know the details about that particular users. All right. So this is the uh, this is the basically uh, uh, the video uh, through which you understood that what are the different ways to you know create the particular canvas app. You can create the app from the blank or you can create the app from the you know the templates. Now stay tuned for the next video. In my next video, I'm going to create my first canvas app. So don't miss that video. Till then, stay safe. Bye bye.